anime cyberpunk style meets skirmish combat in Infinity. Experience eight high-tech factions and fight to control the human sphere at the Infinity Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. It's time for 28mm World War II action. Will you recreate history or reshape it your way? On the Bolt Action Hub at BeastsOfWar.com. So guys, I'm back with Dave, and uh, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff on the table, um, which isn't models, and is books instead. What is this? This is my version of a show and tell. Okay, <laughs> go on then. <laughs> oh, what have we got here? This is all the books currently released by Forge World for the mm -hmm. Horus Heresy, like all the campaign books. <sighs> okay, so there is a fair amount of stuff to look yeah, at. Yeah, if I turn this one sideways, that's actually like four books in there. <laughs> <laughs> Three books and like. Armies. So, can, can I just ask why? Why? Uh, I got back in the forty k only recently. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, it's a couple of years ago now, and then they bought out all the Horus Heresy stuff, and mm. I was just like, oh, it is stunning. Obviously, I wanted the rules to go with it, and mm. they started releasing. The first one was Betrayal. Yep. Excellent, and that had me hooked from the beginning. Right. And then I just, I've carried on going. But you bought. <laughs> Um, like spe this is a special edition, isn't it? What it was, they released uh, one, two, one and two on their own. Yeah. And when I think it was when the third one came out, they bought out a box set for it, and you could stick them all together. Mm -hmm. So you had to buy it. I had to buy it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this this really is. Was this an impulse buy or was this? Yeah, just, all, all my buys are impulse buys. They're all impulse. Buys. <laughs> okay. That explains a lot. <laughs> oh. So. Do, are you you're intending to play Heresy then? Yes, definitely. You're intending to play I've 30K. just started playing a Mechanicum, mm -hmm. so definitely hooked on. So these are the books you need to actually do that. Yeah, because every book has the different rules for particular units or whatever in them. Yeah, I'm hoping at one point they just do a consolidated book with all the bits that you need for particular armies. Yeah, so you're looking for that codex feel then at yeah, some point, definitely. Well, <laughs> where should we start? Should we start with another graphic novel? Sure, let's we'll go start for it. graphic novel. Yep, we'll proceed to the side. Okay, so this one? This one, yep. Right. Craig's on that. <clears throat> so by, Dan Ad, by Dan Abnett and Neil Roberts. Yep, and Dan Abnett's one of your favourite writers, isn't he? Mm. Yep. Yep. So, well, I mean, look at the quality of the book. I mean, for goodness sake, you have this nice leather effect. It's all embossed. It's all nicely silvered and everything. And this gorgeous little bit of art on the front. Um, so what is this then? This is a graphic novel you were saying. This is a graphic novel. This is set just after the events of Kalf, or actually during the events of Kalf, where the word bearers have absolutely hammered the ultramarines. Mm -hmm. they, they start fighting back, they get, they sort themselves out and they fight back and, yeah. oh, and <laughs> Ro Rubout Gulliman, I can't even say his name, the Primarch of the ultramarines, yep. he says to one of his uh, blokes, go after Erebus, find him, catch him, I want that ship. Mm -hmm. And this is the story of them chasing them. There's right. one ship versus another ship. Okay. So very close and personal. Nice. So let's open it up. So that's the inside cover, which is, I don't know what class of ship that is, but it's certainly big enough. I'll tell you that much. See, the guy that did all the art for this, he's actually a lot of full 3D artist as well. So he actually does all, all the art that you'll see in this book mm -hmm. is all f done on computer. All right. So, well, let's, let's just pick a random page then, shall we? You picked a good one. I did pick a good one. Actually. That's not bad. <laughs> That's inside the warp. Yep. So this is them trying to render what the warp looks like. Yep. Which is all pretty screwed up as you would expect it to be. A lot of stuff going on in there. Very, very hypnotic. It is very, very hypnotic. Very, tri yeah. very trippy. Yep. So this is all being. This is all sort of three D art then. Yep. Yep. There's a lot of stuff going on. In There's here. a lot of stuff going on. I was speaking to the artist and he said he treated every single. Individual panel as a single piece of art. Yep. And I said to him, "Are you going to do a sequel?" And he went, "Not for a long time." He <laughs> said, "This this took it out of him big time." Yeah, I'm not surprised. I mean, when you look at the the details of some of this stuff. I mean, that page there, that's absolutely. It's very nice. bright for the Forge World stuff. Mm. Usually, it's like all low key, but this is like full on in your face. Yeah, and I always I love the the close ups you get of the the armor and everything. It shows it's that real. It, I guess it's not pre heresy, is it anymore? It's, no, it's, it's, her it's, it's heresy. It's now. actual it's, heresy it's, stuff. It's going. Yeah. Uh, let's pick another page or two. Some more action. Of course, there's some more action. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, every, every panel is beautifully drawn. Yeah. The amount of effort. I can, I can totally believe why the artist was like, <sighs> at the end of it, 
but it's worthwhile. Certainly be worth it. Gorgeous looking book. Uh, anything else? It's got all the making of bit. Like, so you have the, yeah. there's all making of bit at the back, yeah. character design and so on. And the poor guy sat at his desk. <laughs> so I go, oh, no, no more. <laughs> it's a nice approach to it though. Um, the fact that you treated everything as an individual piece, which is really nice. Because Forger would actually sell a lot of the panels as individual art mm. artworks as well. So yeah, there's a heck of a lot of stuff. That is cool. It's gorgeous. That really does show the scale of the ships. Yeah. I, I love like seeing all these little individual lights and stuff like that. So you can get a better image of that. Yeah, it's stunning. Just the sheer amount of stuff in there. Um so yeah, he's all making of section at the back. It's amazing that it can go from that to what you yeah you look at through from it. the original hand drawn parts where they're working through it, and mm. then just like oh, right, one book down, one book down, twenty six to go. What should we go next? Might as show this one off. This right. is Visions of Heresy. So uh -huh. it's an, it's actually a pre. It's been released before, but this is like the collector's edition. And they just decided to tart it up in all the uh, Forge World Horus Heresy looks. Yep. Want to go for it? Yeah, let's I'm go for gonna, it. I'm going to one. What's the posture officially? Visions of Heresy 1. Mm -hmm. There you go. Want to show that off? Yep, let's show that one off. Oh, they are so heavy. They are very <laughs> heavy books. Uh, basically, Visions of Heresy gives you the whole story from beginning to end of the Horus Heresy. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't go too far into detail like they do with the Black Library novels. Yep. So yeah. is this the, the Emperor himself? or is this... That is the Emperor. Yep. It's not often you actually get to see him. No, you don't see him often. No. But yeah, they've done some good, really stunning artwork of him. Mm -hmm. It's not how I imagined him, though. It's never how I imagined him. Oh, well, how would you imagine? I don't know, just not like that. <laughs> <laughs> just not like that, okay. Oh, again, the inside covers are insane. So you know where everyone's fighting. Yeah, where everyone is and where they're based. <laughs> it's all, I almost feel like there should be a, you are here, aren't you? You are here. <laughs> no, they're lovely. Yep. Right, let's skip through. So, I mean, this is a lot of artwork that we'll have seen Previously, in, yeah. in various different forms, um, a lot of sketch work, a lot of background story. You know, some of the classic art that you really you check out and you go, "Wow, that's cool." Um, I have to say, my John Blanche man, mm. I love his stuff. Mm -hmm. I've always followed it ever since second edition. I was like, "Oh, he shaped forty k for me." Yeah, I have to say, the quality of these books is amazing. Yeah, Absolutely. I love the bindings. I love the fact they're all silvered on the edges. Mm -hmm. That's stunning. Those are my favourite guys, the... Custodians. Yes. I love yeah. Custodians. Just because they are the sort of Roman legionnaire, mm. kind of Spartan-esque kind of thing going on there. But, you know, a shame there's no models of no, them. No, we yet. yet to see them on a the tabletop. People are going, we want them. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mr. Fulgrim. Yeah. My... You're not a fan of Fulgrim, are you? I'm not a fan of Fulgrim. <laughs> he's, he's my least favourite uh, of all the Primarchs. Even Sanguinius, and like I like Blood Angels, yeah. I don't like Sanguinius. Yeah, he's a bit too cool for me. Too cool, too <laughs> yeah. cool. And you're doing Blood Angels. Yeah, mm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> some of the original, I loved some of the older artwork of the uh, the early Heresy yeah, novels. From, yeah, from the first Black Library novels. Mm -hmm. And I love getting to see all like the old kit up close, like the old armor and the old land. Raider They've expanded on the universe in a way that everyone should be able to appreciate. Yeah. Absolutely. Right, yeah, let's, Thousand Sons. Yeah, Thousand Sons. The, the people I feel very sorry for because they tried their best. They they did. They got they draw the bad, bad lot in that entire yep. thing. <clears throat> right. All right. But. We'll not have to. We won't have time to go through all of this. <laughs> so we're book gonna have two, to book two of Visions of Heresy. Uh, okay. With the two. Demon Horus on the front. Yeah. Again, a lot of the same. A lot. Of, it's <laughs> it's an awesome art book. Yeah. I mean, this, if you want inspiration. And you have exposable income like Dave obviously has. <laughs> and you go out and you get this sort of stuff. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't tell your wife about that. <laughs> you bought what? <laughs> you bought what now? <laughs> Even like the, the demons. Again, another rendition of the Emperor. And he's just, he's a little bit different. Mm. Again, I don't think anyone's really pinned down. They haven't. What they really want the Emperor to look like. They've said they're just like, they're leaving it open, I think. Yeah. I mean, there's always that classic artwork, the really classic artwork of um, the Emperor and Sanguinius lying dead and the yep. four facing off horse. That's how I imagine the Emperor, that very sort of very gaunt face, but very yeah. angular features and stuff like that. They've almost gone for more like, he almost reminds me of a Native American, mm. that kind of look. Yeah, because I mean, we don't even know about his origins, do we? 
Nothing really. definite. There's, there's stuff they've said, and then there's like, it's implied. Yeah. Right. Let's pick two more. Two more. Okay. Well, well, so well. you pick two more. I'm going to pick two more. <coughs> Let's pick one out, B. Oh. <laughs> oh, so much stuff. Put these things away. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm going to start with the first one, actually. Why not? Let's okay. start with the first one that started all off. Oh, these are heavy. They, they are <laughs> weigh so a ton. Ridiculously heavy. You could proper batter people with these. Yeah. <laughs> but you wouldn't want to. No, no, no. no. You could, but you're you not could. Going. You could. In desperation. Betrayal. So, this betrayal. Is Horus Heresy Book One. And awesome artwork to start it off. Yeah. With. Definitely. I remember the lines of people for this sort of stuff at Games Day and all that. They yeah, sold out in. They sold out as soon as they'd gone. Like yeah. minutes. As soon as people turned up, it was sold out pretty much. So. More art. Yeah. Uh, I believe is that showing. What's this all representing? The expansion out or warp root? Oh yeah, root right echoes. Okay, yeah. so that's the warp roots kind of thing. Yep. Yeah. Um. Oh, well, that's not a very good page to stop on. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of origin stuff. Yeah, in this, isn't this there? is it. They really fill it right out. If yeah. you, if you want to know what was going on, when, with who, who was doing what, when. Yeah. Who loaded Armor. their gun at one point? <laughs> Armor. That's what I want to see. I like. There's a lot. Of, they do a lot of this generic <coughs> stuff. They'll have the same pose for everything, but they'll put different, all different color schemes on it. And they yep. name. They actually name individual characters a lot of the time. Mm. Oh, look, and I miss the. <laughs> um, you're trying to find a page in this that you want to stop at is a bit of an issue, but you know, armor. More armor. <laughs> oh yes, tanks and dreadnoughts. Brilliant. And then we're moving on. So it's, this is more. Of the background, this is this ties in with the novels, doesn't it? Yes. So the novels go Not, from an individual. They're in because the novels were first. They had to follow some of the stuff from the novels. Obviously, yep. like they fitted in Loken and a lot of the main characters. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the wonderful books. Absolutely. Uh, I keep picking the wrong pages. The sketch. It's not a wrong page. It's, just, <laughs> <laughs> it's a page that doesn't have much on it. There's a lot of rules in it. There's a lot of different things for different mm -hmm. scenarios. You can play four games with these. They say all you need is this book and the rule book. Yeah. And you can play your games in 30k. Yep. Oh, seriously. So that's your army chart. Yep. And so on and so forth. There's a lot of special rules in there. Have you had a good look through this? I have. I've had a good read through it. So there's a lot to take in. Mm. If I'd say, if anyone ever gets these books, just page by page. Yeah. Read all the fluff first. Get a feel for it. Then just mm -hmm. pick a scenario now and again. Just have a go. So. Right. One more. You want one more? Let's, want... let's do one. I said we were going to do two, and this will be the second one. And then we'll wrap I'll up. go with the latest one. Ugh. And the latest one covers... It's called Horus Heresy Conquest. Conquest, okay. Alan Bly, when I asked him about it, he referred to it as Horus's Gap Year. Because <laughs> it covers stuff not covered in the Black Library novels. Yep. It's just them, after the Istvan massacres and all mm. that, just consolidating their forces, yep. getting resources to go to Terra. Yep. It's filler. It's good filler. Yeah, but it's filler. It introduces Solar Exilia, mm -hmm. and they're, they're a cracking army. Yeah. If for the fact I wasn't really doing Mechanicum, I'd be like, oh, I'm tempted by <laughs> old guard. Yeah. They're still guard. <clears throat> they're still guard, but, you know, a few, a few thousand years before. Again, excellent prints. Yeah. Excellent quality. I think a lot of this has been done with the actual models. Yeah, it? how this they do it, all... they usually um, photography, the take photos of the mills, and they just Photoshop around them. And there's nothing wrong with that, because you get that style and that, Looks fantastic. You still get that epic feel, even though you, they are the models. Again, that is actually the model, mm -hmm. and they just Photoshop around it, and you wouldn't be able to tell that. Looking at that, you think that's drawn, but it's not. Yeah. Beautiful art, a lot of beautiful effort. That's what I like about Forge World. They're not afraid to just use their product in yeah. the big books. Like, obviously, it's all their product, but. God, that's so ridiculous. <laughs> I like the fact this sense of scale they've got with these things. Mm -hmm. it, they've made it as epic as it can be. Yep. So let me see. What? Let's 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 ask a question. What do you like most about the books? <sighs> I'm so heavily invested in the 30k universe now. I'm just following it dedicatedly. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh, I love it. Um, I just like the stories. This is the whole betrayal thing with Horus. It's like son against the father. Yep. It, it's themes that we've followed before in lots of other things, but. Something I've just I've really been grabbed by it. I love yeah. the quality. Um, let me see. What what would you dislike about the book series? 
Now there's an interesting question. Dislike, I think it's they're su- they're really good, and I think it's too hard for other people to get into it unless you. So you you think there's maybe a sort of there's, there's no there's, there's no jump co- in. There's there. a core elite. Yeah, there is a core elite, and they like that elitism. Mm-hmm. I think I like the idea of the fact that they might be coming out with this plastic thirty k starter set. I think people deserve to be able to get into this game more on a budget, yep. cheaper, because yep. this, this is too much for people. Yeah, and this, this isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea. No, and having seen these for the first time today, I wouldn't know where to start. Obviously, yeah. you would go to book one. Yeah, but you have so much after. You're that, a long you way behind. To, yeah. yeah, and it feels like it is a bit of. It is a journey in a way, but mm. it's a journey that you want to catch up. Because I've started from the beginning, it has been a journey for me. But as someone that's coming into it, a fresh player, it's a lot to take in. Yep. It is a lot. Even if you're an experienced 40k player, yeah. and you want to get into heresy, you have a lot of stuff that is at your fingertips that you're going to have to get into and get to grips with. Because mm. I would assume that although you need the rule book to play with this stuff, mm. you still need a very, a very good grasp of this. Yes, definitely. Now, would you? Let me see. Is there a lot of change rules wise? Or is it just. It's all, it's, they've scaled it up. Everything's bigger. Yeah. Everything's bigger. No, bigger, when, bigger and louder and bolder. I suppose when you do see um, on the heresy stuff on the Forge World page, you know, a tactical squad is a lot bigger. Yeah, you're talking 20 men. Yeah. <laughs> it's just doubled immediately, which for your core army, mm. it's a big investment. Yeah. It's big. All your tactical squads, your, your, inf- your line infantry is a very hefty thing that you yeah. need to invest in. But you will always have it. Yeah. So it's there. Go. All you need to do is add the trimmings as you see fit afterwards, I suppose. They did um, do some, with this special edition of the big set, they did these little books here. Yeah. And they just have, they skip all the fluff and they just have all your stats for all your mods, all your prime arcs, all your um, basic troops. Yeah. So they're handy. Well, do we have an example prime arc we can show? Is there an example prime arc in rule, those books? Rules? Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that a big ask? <laughs> no, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's have a look. Legions of Starters. Istvan campaign legions, so they should have. Um, let's have a look. They've got a pro- oh, Rogaldorn. Rogaldorn. Dorn. Yes, I like Dorn. I'll go with Dorn. So what... Sure, got... he's, he's actually quite expensive, but you know, he is a Primarch. So he is Primarch. Those, they're, very... they're all expensive. It's a, it's a difficult thing I always thought when they said they were going to do the heresies. How much is a Primarch? Because he should technically be an unstoppable force onto himself. They've got him near that, yeah. but not not like the old days of second edition where things were really, really unstoppable. Like Abaddon in um, second edition, he was unkillable. Yeah, They're, that's why you had to ask permission back in the day. You just had to have, have permission of your opponent just to use things like these. Yeah. Ever, anything goes. So what's? Like, let's have a look here. I love his artwork. I think that's what Dorn looks like in my mind. Definitely, he's. Because he's the, the Imperial Fist, he's a siege technician, really, isn't he? He's a siege yeah. specialist. Yeah. I don't imagine him being overly ornate, no. like, like Sanguinius is or, or Fulgrim. Yeah, everything about Dorne strikes me as practical. Same with a bit like uh, Gilliman as well. Mm. Seems more of a practical kind of sort. Some of the products are very similar. They've all got their own niche. Yeah. So, Dorne. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. They got some. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of background here. Yep. But then he, you go into his uh, his stat line. You know, two plus save, leadership ten, obviously. You know, weapon skill eight, uh, ballistic skill five. Uh, Prime market dependent character, eternal warrior, of course. <laughs> Adamantium will <laughs> fleet, fearless. It will not die. Master of the Legion. Yep. It just sounds cool. Everything it about does. it just sounds cool. I like the fact they just put all <clears> them rules <throat> instead of having right there. Just put them Primark. Yeah, Primarch should just have that. <laughs> but uh, you know, even one of the special rules is Sire of the Imperial Fist. Mm. So he's obviously got an, an own rule onto himself in, the, in a way there. They've all got, every one of the um, Primarchs has their own Sire of whatever, Sire of Death Card, Sire yeah. of the World Eaters. And that will incur their own buffs. Yeah, it does so give on. buffs for their particular people around them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So all, all sorts of special rules. It's nice to actually get a look at some of the Primarchs and how the, what the stat line lays out like. Mm. Because they, I always imagine when you read the novels that they are the unstoppable. They are. They haven't quite caught how powerful they are as yeah. they are in the novels. Like I mean, anger on in one of the novels is holding a warhound titan up. Yeah, it's like <laughs> you, you're not going to get that if a warhound titan comes along. It's going to kill him. Yep. So they haven't made them game breakers, but they are something you don't want to face. Yes, you don't want with to face. line infantry. But if you pile enough of them, they will go down. Yeah. Right. Well. 
There's, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of stuff. It's a huge investment, but it's a beautiful investment. It looks good on the shelf. It does. It looks fantastic. Looks good on in the its shelf. box. I love them. Mm -hmm. The production quality of these is amazing. It's probably, well, it's definitely some of the best books that Forge Worlds ever made. For me, it's the best ones. <laughs> yeah, it probably is the best. is the best ones. I mean, I the, the last Forge World book I bought was a masterclass book, and I thought that was class anyway. Mm. But this is something special, and they're treating it as something special, which is what we want to see. You can. Yeah, you don't even need to play. The, you, if you're just interested in the fluff, you can buy this as, just as a collector. Yeah, which is what you are essentially. Yeah, I'm, you I'm are collecting. a collector. I'm yeah. collector. I like playing, but at heart, I'm a magpie. Yeah. <laughs> if it's shiny, <laughs> it's shiny. I'm like, it. oh, I gotta buy it. <laughs> well, it's been a heck of a show and tell. We've only went through what four or five books there. Yeah, there's loads. Yeah, <laughs> and there's still a whole pile left to cover. You could have a whole conversation about every individual book. Yeah, easy. But we don't have time for that. We don't have time. <laughs> so guys, put your comments down below. Do you think Dave's absolutely insane? Yeah. Well, no, I know I'm insane. He knows he's insane. <laughs> but we want to make sure you know as well. <laughs> um, what do you think of the Heresy series? Have you, any of you out there own this? Um, do you agree with Dave that this is the best book series that he's ever bought for, for this game? Probably going to be the best I ever get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although I was disappointed to find out how long they want to drag it out for. Mm. Yeah, you were telling me about that. 10 to 15 years. Mm -hmm. Now there's a point as well, do you think it will keep engagement with everyone? I don't think it will. Mm. I don't think there will, be a, there will be a hardcore group like me <laughs> who will stick with it, but others I think they're going to drop off. Yeah. And the thing is, the longer the series goes on, the harder it's going to be to get into. Yeah. They've, got to have a, they've got to have a better starting point for people. Yeah, absolutely. Um, to put your comments down below, do you agree with that as well? Do you think that's too long? Or... Do you not mind? I mean, I'm sure there's people out there that don't mind how long the series goes. No, some, it, some, will never want it, some will never want it to end. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you, Dave, for bringing all this fantastic. That's okay, my pleasure. It was heavy, yeah. <laughs> carrying it everywhere. You now have to take it back home. Yeah, I have to take it back home now. Back Somehow. on the ferry. <laughs> <laughs> Your fuel <laughs> mileage must be mental with all this stuff in here. Oh. Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of Warhub. Take command of elves, dwarves, and orcs in this game of masked fantasy combat on beastofwar.com. In a world controlled by massive corporations, a steady aim and split-second decisions are needed for your Megacon to complete its goals. Begin your missions at the Mercs Hub on beastofwar.com.